Good evening. This is Eric Conti, Superintendent of Schools with Patrick Larkin. This is our district update for Friday, September 10th. And we wanted to start by congratulating all of our new preschool and kindergarten students who had their first day of school yesterday. It's always an exciting day, um, but it's especially exciting at the start of one's school career. Um, today marks the eve of the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on September 11th, 2001. It's amazing that so many years have passed. We've been reflecting on exactly where we were and how our former schools responded that day. Although they were all impacted, a special thought goes out to the families connected with the school district who were impacted by this horrific event. Pine Glen graduate and pilot Thomas McGinnis, as well as James and Mary Trentini, a beloved high school teacher and his wife. COVID protocols. As we mentioned last week, the home health screening checklist has not changed from last year. Also an update on test and stay. After meeting with the group coordinating the test and stay program for the state, we are expecting to begin rapid testing students identified as asymptomatic close contacts within the next few weeks. What will allow your child to participate is the parental consent form that was sent home from your child's school. If you have not seen this form, please call your school and we will make it available on our website. Please send it in if you want your child to remain in school if identified as an asymptomatic close contact. Please remember that test and stay only applies to school-related events, classes, and extracurricular activities. Close contacts from anywhere else besides school are not eligible for test and stay. In addition, the Board of Health, in aligning with the Department of Public Health's guidelines, requires students identified as close contacts to quarantine themselves when they are not in school. The state will make rapid tests available for parents on Saturdays. We'll have more information on this moving forward. Please remember that DESE does not accept parent parental rapid testing on any other day of the week. And most importantly, that your child is not considered a close contact if they are over 12 and vaccinated. Getting vaccinated, if eligible, is the easiest way to stay in school and participate in extracurricular activities. We realize that all the protocols, even the conflicting protocols, can be confusing. Please call your school nurse if you have any questions, or please email us at covidconcerns at bpsk12.org. In regards to contact tracing, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, or what we call DESE, made some changes to their contact tracing protocol yesterday that had an immediate impact in Burlington. While DESE is encouraging, but not requiring, student spacing at three feet, the protocol for contact tracing was changed to six feet to align with the Mass Department of Public Health. While aligning these distances for contact tracing makes sense, please know that we are not set up for six feet of spacing due to the fact that all of our students are back in person this fall. With the six feet, we had to quarantine an entire elementary class this week as a result of a positive case. Again, we are not set up for remote learning because remote learning is not an approved as an instructional method this year. DESE made one exception for students out um, related to COVID and we will work to provide a remote experience for these students who are out and quarantined. In addition, we are working to implement the test and stay program as soon as possible. Bus concerns, we are still working on bus concerns and issues. Adding the kindergarten students always slows things down at first. There are many picture taken opportunities on the first day of school, but we know the routines will begin to settle out next week. Thank you and have a good week.